Be a part of Going In Raw today at patreon.com forward slash Stephen Larson. Starting at $1 a month, you can enjoy Going In Raw ad-free, gain access to the daily 30-minute Going In Raw post-show, exclusive merchandise, and so much more. Support Going In Raw today. Click the link in the description. Hey, Brendan, Steve here. And Larson. And welcome back to Going In Raw Countout. Return engagement. That's right. Uh, we're, we're doing this because we're not going to be in the office You won't today. be in the office. No, we, we don't want to work office. today. We want to work today. We want to be out partying, yeah? Yeah. yeah. In bed by 11. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, in lieu of us being in the office today, we decided to pre-record a couple episodes of Count Out. We've got the worst, the, the, the flip side of this episode, the wrestlers who had the worst 2018 is up right now at the same time in the audio land, in the video land. We're on the Patreon also. Uh, but then this episode here. It's best. This is the wrestlers who had, best. hey, the best, best year 2018. And maybe they'll even have better 2019s. Mm-hmm. Although it's hard to. It's hard to imagine that for some of these wrestlers because, man, they had just killer 2018. Amazing. You know, 2018. Was 2018, did you have a best 2018 or a worst 2018? Best. Financially, I think we had a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. All around pretty solid year. All that matters is the financials. Number 10. 10. AJ Styles. I mean, he was WWE champion for Bullet basically Club the leader. entire year. Yeah, that's true. He was on the cover of video game as well. True, true. Called 2K19. That's a, that's a huge feat, a huge yeah. honor to be on cover of video game. So, like, his he he had a, a litany of really, really good opponents. None of the few. Look, it's AJ Styles. He's, like, one of the best wrestlers on the planet. Oh, yeah. And so his ex, the expectations for what we want to see are so astronomical. Through the roof, yeah. That kind of anything else feels feels a bit oh, underwhelming. I know. I mean, he's one of the best wrestlers on the planet. He's in an extended program with uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, mm-hmm. kicking off at WrestleMania after Nakamura's Royal Rumble win. Never achieves the heights that we had hoped, mm-hmm. although their final match was pretty solid. Uh, sure, from yeah. From there, he moves on to Samoa Joe. Again... Uh, some really solid some matches. Re- and some really entertaining stuff with yeah. Samoa Joe going yeah. to his house. Um, their last match it was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, nothing. It, it didn't it didn't necessarily match up to what we had seen AJ and Joe do like in TNA. Yeah, right. Yeah. It wasn't what Unbreakable 2005. Granted, Christopher Daniels wasn't there either. Or John Cena. Yeah. John Cena, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but he had a really solid year, and you can't really you can't not put him on this list sure. because he had the WWE title for basically the entire year. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and he was on cover of video game. Yeah, that too. So that's a big deal. Oh, and that video game featured Golden AJ. Yeah. Which, damn it, we need to play that that tower thing. We have to win it. We're not good enough. Speak for yourself. I am good enough. Do it then. I will do it. Do it. I will do it. Prove yeah. prove me wrong. You'll see. <laughs> Uh, AJ's the best. He is. Anyways, number nine. And nine. Seth freaking Rollins, dude. He is like the John Seth Goodman. Seth Rollins could be the best. He's like the John Goodman of wrestling. He or makes the everything Sam Rockwell. better. Or the Sam Rockwell of wrestling. He looks. He's like the human league of music. I don't think the analogy holds there. They make everything better. Do they? I don't know. I know like one song. Anyways, uh, yeah, Seth Rollins. I, I'm sort of creeping into this thought process that Seth Rollins... Might actually be the best wrestler on the planet. Given that he consistently, under WWE restrictions, puts on some of the best matches every single week in the world of wrestling, under WWE restrictions, under Vincent McMahon restrictions, could you imagine what this guy, and we're never going to see it. No. We're never going to see like a New Japan Seth Rollins. No, no. but we can hope, we can dream. Here's my, the thing my, only, my only hope is that maybe we'll see Seth Rollins, if they take my advice, which they seem to do all the time, uh, let him have a feud in NXT yeah. for one takeover. Yeah. Like him, we'll versus, see a takeover him versus match. Ciampa. There you go. That'd be exceptional. Um, Seth had arguably the greatest single performance in, the, of, in wrestling of the year 2018, lasting about an hour mm-hmm. in that gauntlet match on Raw. Um, that uh, really seemed to kickstart <clears throat> face Seth Rollins. Oh yeah, I mean, we, we've Seth has been a face for a little while. It's been a lot of ups and downs, however. But I think it was that match that really reminded people that a he's an exceptional wrestler. Yeah. B he's does great character work. Yeah. And C it's hard not to like him. 
it, he he's, comes across now, especially when I mean, he did great heel work earlier, as such a likable guy. Oh, man. He fits that face role so perfectly. Face of the company, man. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. So, yeah. Totally. No, absolutely. Seth Rollins, I think as good a 2018 as he had, Intercontinental Champion, 2019 is tag champion, to be way better. He's gonna get that. He's got to get that Universal it's Title. Be Lesnar for it. Yep. And he's gonna solidify his position as face of the company. Mm -hmm. I know they had sort of maybe flirted with the idea of Braun Strowman. Remains to be seen. I don't know. Maybe by now Braun is the Universal Champion. I don't know. No. Royal Rumble is still a couple weeks away. Yeah. It's okay. Almost a whole month away. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, now give that title to Seth. Put him on the Today Show. Oh yeah. Put him on Good Morning America. All those places, world's wildest police videos, all those places. Yeah, all Get them out there. Yeah. Name another show he should be on. Um, Barney Miller. That show's not on anymore. Golden Girls. Green screen him into Barney Miller. Or Golden Girls. And Golden Girls, a crossover event starring yes. Seth Rollins. Wait, wasn't... Wasn't... Uh, wasn't... Uh, was there a crossover there? Empty Nest and Golden Girls in the same universe? Yeah, Empty Nest was a spinoff. Yeah. Yeah. He could be on Empty Nest then, too. I think they did, like, in NBC, there was, like, a tornado... Crossover, yeah. yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I remember that. That'd be great, Knight Rider. Oh, he, yeah, he drives Kit. He yeah, drives he's Kit. a new Michael Knight. Yeah, he's a new Michael Knight. There Airwolf, perfect. Voyagers. Who's his little buddy? <sighs> Drake Maverick. Perfect. Number eight. Eight. Pete Dunn. Peter Dune. Peter Dune. Uh, he's had the NXT, uh, sorry, the WWE United Kingdom title for like 500 days now. Yeah, it's been a long he time. He won it last May, May 2017, <sighs> from Tyler Bate. Had it all in 2017. Spent, it. spent a long time sort of not doing much with it. But this year he's defended actually quite a bit. Yeah, I know. He's defending like every other week on NXT mm -hmm, UK, which mm -hmm. translates to every week because there's like five, five episodes, episodes a week. week. But he's made one... Takeover appearance this year at War Games. Yeah. Has been featured on NXT TV a lot. A lot. And is the featured attraction top star, the cornerstone of NXT UK for the time being. And there is nobody. Nobody. That seems to be able to take that title off them. When are they recording? When are they filming Takeover? Is that going to be? Is that going to be live. airing live? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I think it's January 12th. 12th. Okay. So two weeks. So we'll see. I don't know. He's either going to be taking on Eddie Dennis or Mastiff. I, f I feel. Unless, oh, I think they're going to do a tag thing, aren't they? Something who? Like that. No, he has, he has a title defense of that. Oh, does he? Yeah, I know who he's against, but I don't know if you want to know. Because I don't know if that episode's going to air in time. I can tell you when we're done. Is it? Hmm? No. Hmm. He's already faced him twice. <laughs> yeah, so why not again? Lost both times. I'm trying might to remember be, now. He might be Liverpool's number one, but he's not NXT UK's number one. Steve. Not yet. But yeah, no, Pete Dunne, he's had a massive, massive uh, 2018 Obviously, 2019. He can all he's all he's gonna have. He's gonna keep on going up. He'll probably lose that NXT UK Championship, probably to Walter. Mm -hmm. uh, but oh boy, man! Sometime in the early spring. Oh, are they gonna do Eddie Dennis Mastiff at Takeover? I don't know. Maybe, that I don't know. Maybe that'll be like a number one contender. Um, but uh, I would be surprised if he wants to. Pete Dunne moving on to to NXT NXT. Mm -hmm. Prime NXT. Yeah. Yeah. Full time. He in was in the opening credits for a very brief period of time, and they took him out. I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't know either. It's weird. Maybe they're Put him back in. Maybe someone's getting ahead of themselves. Make him top star. Yeah. Anyway. He'd be huge in NXT. Absolutely. Huge. 29, so at the end of 29, one year from now, what do you think Pete Dunne's going to be? NXT Prime or called up to Maine already? Could be called up to Maine. Ooh, I love it. Number seven. Seven. Chris Jericho. Start off the year uh, having an awesome match against Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom. Um, took the L there. However, he returned to beat Tetsuya Naito for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship at Dominion. Hasn't, we have no idea if he's been able to cash that in for a meal. No, well, Naito couldn't. Yeah. It's not legal tender, man. Jericho, maybe. And then he's going to face Naito again at Wrestle Kingdom. Other things he's done this year, he was on Raw 25. He had his own cruise. Well, I was getting to that. He was at the Greatest Royal, the greatest Royal Rumble. He had his own cruise. And then he had his, his own cruise. Oh. And word came out this year that he's going to be involved somehow, maybe, Ooh. in this all-elite wrestling new promotion Ooh. thing with Cody and Young Bucks. Um, Chris Jericho is enjoying free agency. Yeah, man. Um, is there like a, like a, a more... A luckier wrestler on the planet? I don't think so. To be in a position... It's not luck. It's he has brought himself to the position. It's all the equity he has earned from putting in 
all the blood and sweat and long hours wrestling. Now mm-hmm. he's really truly enjoying the fruits of all his labor. He gets to go out, play rock shows with his band. I'm sure that's a blast. Probably wrestles when he wants to. His podcast is still a big, big deal. It's a massive deal. Yeah, and it's this. I don't know. It's it's fun to see him kind of associate himself with this 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 crop of wrestlers now: Young Bucks, Cody, Marty Skrull to a certain extent, who are making it almost their mission seemingly to succeed without going to WWE. Mm-hmm. And he's fully embraced that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And it's cool to see someone with his cachet, his legacy, uh, get on board with that and to see that it's, it's, it, it could be, it could happen for a lot of people. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty great. Number six, six Ronda Rousey. Uh, I don't talking know. About beating oh, expectations. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't know if anybody expected her ascent to the top of the women's division on raw to be so rapid and so successful, not just in terms of the, the mainstream crossover attention, but I can, apart from maybe Kurt Angle, I can't think of anybody who's really acclimated themselves to the pro wrestling ring as quickly as she has. Yeah. Her year has been spectacular. Of course, she was at WrestleMania in her debut match, uh, in a tag match, uh, her and Kurt Angle versus uh, Triple H and Stephanie. Um, it was a wildly fun match. It was super overbooked, but she uh, she got in some licks against the game mm-hmm. the game himself. Mm-hmm. A little little taste of intergender wrestling right there. A little bit. Um, so that was a lot of fun. It was by far, I'd say, the most fun match on the card. Oh yeah. Um, and that's a pretty big deal. Um, she's managed to you know in the spotlight in front of thousands and thousands of people live every Monday. She is present. Every Monday on Raw, she's always there. She's at a ton of house shows. Um, we've seen her promo skills get better. She's cutting really, really solid promos. Her ring work is only getting smoother and smoother. Um, her and match she, against Charlotte Survivor Series is actually pretty good. Was 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 a ton of fun. Um, and uh, she is set to most likely headline WrestleMania the first time uh, a women's match. Is headlining WrestleMania. It looks like it's probably going to be her, Charlotte, and uh, Becky, or just her versus Becky. We're not really sure yet. Um, that picture should come a little bit more clear in the next month or two. Yep. Um, so, yeah, like, man, like you said, I don't think we've seen something like this since Kurt Angle. Mm-hmm. I really don't. I don't think so either. And it's, it's fantastic. I think she's doing wonderful work. She yep. deserves that Raw Women's uh, Championship. I do kind of hope that in 2019, um, they're able to present her with some challengers and maybe it's Becky Charlotte. I don't know that can really, I I want them to play hot potato with that title a little bit. I know I want them to bring her down a little bit to the level of like an Ember moon. Mm -hmm. Some of the other really, really hot talent in that raw women's division so that there can be a bit more intrigue and drama. I think that's Agreed. the one thing Agreed. that we're kind of, we saw missing. a little bit of that at the end of her match against Charlotte after Charlotte beat the heck out of her. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, hit natural selection on a chair. Uh, the crowd seemed to embrace Charlotte's attack, um, and and you could see on the face of Ronda she was walking, limping up the ramp, bruised and battered. That uh, it stung a little bit. Mm-hmm. We haven't really seen much of that since. Yeah, but it was an interesting little wrinkle uh, in terms of her character that the 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 dominant, seemingly unbeatable force um, finally got exposed a little bit. For not being quite as unbeatable. Yeah. Being uh, a little more... Um, oh, I totally forgot the word I was thinking about. Vulnerable. Yes, that's the one I was looking for. Thank you. No sweat. So, yeah, I think I think she's been, it's been a wild success so far. Mm-hmm. Um, she seems to really love professional yeah, wrestling as well. So that's fantastic. Number five. Five. Kenny Omega, the cleaner. Kenny Best Omega. bout machine. Best bout machine. Me put on him, what is maybe... Greatest match of all time. Could be the greatest match of all time. Against uh, Okada. Okada, yeah. Okada at Dominion this year. He finally won on his third try the IWGP heavyweight title. Yeah. Uh, of course, he also has a very prominent role as part of the elite. Mm-hmm. Um, and, of course, the being the elite stuff. We're going to talk a little more about that. In a little bit. Ooh, uh, yes. But, yeah, he is the sort of the... The the lead figure in the expansion that New Japan has been uh, uh, doing with the United States, um, wildly successful. Uh, will he be leaving 
New Japan to go to WWE, All Elite Wrestling. Is he staying in New Japan? We don't know. We'll find out in about four days. Maybe that'll be a little clearer. Maybe. He's not know. leaving New Japan. Maybe not. He's sticking around New Japan for a little while. He might He might do some work with All Elite Wrestling. He's staying in New Japan. He still needs his match against Kota Ibushi at Tokyo, though. Um, are we going to refilm this if the day before this drops, there's like Kenny Omega indicates he's going to sign with WWE? I don't think he can say anything until his contract's over with New Japan. Yeah, but come on. Like, you know, like links aren't, le- leaks aren't going to come out. Kenny Omega's camp saying that he might. It's camp. It's Dave, him. Dave Meltzer, sources say Kenny might sign no, with last WWE. newsletter, he's like, there's those group of guys that WWE's going after that they probably won't get. That's the elite, man. Probably. Ain't happening. Probably. They're not going WWE. We'll see. We'll see about all that. Uh, but yeah, no, he doesn't need to go to WWE. He's fantastic. Best he belt can, machine. He can wait till next he, year. He can change the world in New Japan. Probably put on, not. Put on the best matches in Can't the entire world. Can't actually change the world doing that, no. What, wrestling? Yeah. How are you going to change the world doing that? We can change the wrestling That's a world. ridiculous phrase that the elite have. You can, can change, change the world. wrestling world. Not really. Yeah. Their merchandise isn't as good as Bullet Club stuff. That's why they're not going to be able to change I don't know. That new Young Buck shirt's pretty cool. It's just, it's a deer. I know. They're yeah. regal animals. That's not, would, do you want me to get you a Milwaukee Bucks uh, shirt? Sure. I like their, I like their logo too. It doesn't have the, the tassels and stuff off the antlers like the Young Bucks one does. Any better merch? Number Good four. Shirt. Four. DIY. I mean, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Why is he put this DIY so small on there? There you go. They'll make it bigger. There we go. DIY. DIY. Oh, no. They're, oh, oh, it's the wrong thing. Oh, it's all falling apart. It's all a work in progress. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. How do I fix that? Now? I don't know. Oh, crap. Anyways, continue, please. Oh, so. Uh, Tell us about Ciampa and Gargano. NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Beginning of the year, uh, Tommaso Ciampa made his return from injury, attacking Johnny Gargano after Gargano lost to uh, Andrade Cien Almas in a fantastic match. El Idolo. And what follows has been the greatest rivalry in NXT's history, yeah. the greatest feud in the promotion's history, and some of the greatest matches in NXT history. They had the first match, the unsanctioned street fight yeah, um, at the following takeover in New Orleans. Fantastic bout. Oh, yes, best bout. Best bout. Follow up in Chicago happened one year after Chump turned on Gargano. Fantastic. Seamless. Seamless. They had another one at uh, SummerSlam in Brooklyn that was pretty good. Um, they fought at SummerSlam? Yeah, they had three straight matches. This one was a title match. I'm just joking. Oh, yeah. Summer's takeover at SummerSlam weekend. What? Did you say you said Chump and Gargano fought at SummerSlam? Uh, SummerSlam weekend. Takeover yeah. SummerSlam weekend. You said SummerSlam. It was funny. Okay. It made me laugh. All right. Anyways, some fantastic matches, They're a great, great feud. They're, great. They're still involved in the feud together. Alistair Black's in the mix now. Um, and now Gargano's like kind of turning heel maybe. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's pr- probably going to have more info about like. Well, I mean, he attacked Alistair Black. That's turning heel. Oh, yeah. No, no. I'm talking about I didn't want you to get to like when are they going to. I wasn't going to get easy. When, when, are they, spoiling, when is that happening? When, when, when is, is that happening? The, before the end of the year, I think. Now? Probably by now? Do we know that they sort of like, you know. I don't know, man. I was gonna, I was gonna broach that. You did. To, boop, to believe it. But I was then just talking about. I think that I'm cursing. Yeah. No. We don't say. No. I was talking about him attacking Alistair Black. That's a heel yeah, turn. But then him and Gar- mm. Stop. Ooh, whoa. You're spoiling more just by having the title mm. the way it is there than anything. Yeah. They're. T- mm. <laughs> Somebody go. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> these two guys <laughs> are really the last two Amigos. years. Amigos. The last two, two and a half years have been some of the putting on some of the best matches in the entire world. They're great. The, when as a team, as opponents. 20 years from now. I, I honestly think that Triple H is trying to and successfully manufacturing the greatest feud in the history of wrestling. I really kind of believe this might go. It, when he talks about people spending, I'm not going to say they're going to spend their entire careers in NXT. This is going to go a long time. As long as it has gone, it is going to keep on going. And yeah. I love it. Yeah. That is great. That is awesome. Yes. It's defining. It's, it's NXT's defining feud. Yes. And we're seeing it unravel. Yes. Number three. Three. The Young Bucks and Cody. I mean, All In was a massive success. Huge success. You know why we were there? We saw it happen. Yeah. Big uh, success. Uh, the Starcast, the convention that went on along with All In. We sold a lot of, of shirts. Huge of shirts. for us. 
Why aren't we on this? Oh, we're not wrestlers. We're not wrestlers. We sold a lot of shirts. It was great meeting everybody, and it was all because of the Young Bucks and Cody. Yeah, and then the show itself was amazing. They the sold show out. Was great. Sears Center in suburban Chicago. I've never been like in like in a crowd like that. That was a crazy crowd. I know. That I know. Awesome. Eleven thousand rabid wrestling fans Ooh. cheering on uh, a wildly entertaining show. Ooh. Um, uh, Cody won himself the NWA World Heavyweight Championship briefly. Mm -hmm. I only held it for like six weeks or so. Lost it at the 70th anniversary. Yeah, show. still a heck of a feat for Cody. Probably a tremendous honor to wear the belt his dad wore. Yeah, that worked out for everybody because mm -hmm. it really helped Billy Corgan and his mm -hmm. NWA organization. Um, and uh, and you know the world really does seem to be their oyster. Oh, I forgot to mention something for Kenny Omega. Oh, what? Golden Lovers reunion. Oh yeah, that was massive. Big too. Yeah, that was huge. That was big. That was big ish. Um, but yeah, let's go back to Young Bucks and Cody. Oh yeah, Young Bucks. I, on the verge of signing a very lucrative deal with WWE. No, they're on promotion. Didn't you see Meltzer Totally said? doing their own promotion. No, it Leaked. didn't happen. Didn't happen yet. Leaked. As of recording this video, it didn't happen. They're starting their own promotion, totally. Uh, Young Bucks had some great matches this year uh, against Golden Lovers. Um, they won the IWGP heavyweight tag titles for the first time this year. Yeah, um, heavyweights. Yeah. Big, so, strong boys. Yeah, so it's um, been a heck of a year for both of them, for all three of them in the ring. Outside of the ring between All In, the, the the continued success of being the elite. Uh, I'm still I'm sure they're still still selling T-shirts hand over fist, making tons of money. Making some, not as much as their better Bullet Club merchandise. Well, when the Jacksons said they didn't make a dime off any of the Bullet Club shirts. Well, they're young bucks in you know infused. Number one, you think they didn't make a dime off Bullet Club shirts? Get out of town with well, that. Well, maybe the Bullet Club logo shirts. Maybe All not. their best-selling shirts are Bullet Club inspired shirts. Yeah, I think he's just talking about the Bullet Club shirt. Bullet Club. Yeah, they itself. got some Milwaukee Bucks logo shirts. Heck yeah, man! That's a copyright infringement right there. No, you can't Listen. copyright a deer. Get out of here with that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You don't know anything about copyright law I or can't, deers. You can't. <laughs> you're right. I, you're right on both. I can't. Not, top five dream matches we're about to see in WWE versus the Young Bucks. Revival, number one. Happen. No, that'd be an all elite wrestling. Number one. <laughs> After Revival asks for the release, and they're granted. We go home. Anyways, Young Bucks and Cody, they're great. They are Co great. Cody versus Triple H at WrestleMania. Yeah, that's it's not going to happen. Totally not. This year, happen. number two. Two. Daniel Bryan. They let him wrestle again. Oh my God! I thought like busted brain wasn't comebackable from. No, but you're, he if you're totally in the come back chamber from it. long enough. You can come back from busted brain. And he's the WWE champion right now. I That's know, amazing. I know. It's been a heck. See, like when he came back, they gave him the green light to return the ring. They gave him the what? Green light. So I'm ready to. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, we're oh. losing it already. Um, and so he was in a tag match at Mania with Shane versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And his first feud was, was against Cass. And then it, it, we were we, we were kind of we were bummed out because we're out. like, what if Castro was like an, a wayward boot and he's out forever? Yeah, again? I know exactly. All we got. But it was seemed him like they were kind of playing it slow with Daniel Bryan too. Make sure he got his feet under. Him. That's true. Um, and then he wasn't going to get concussed immediately. So I understand them not wanting to put him in a huge problem position right away mm -hmm. to make sure you know everything worked out. But from there, uh, he was involved in some really fun matches. Um, they had a gauntlet match on SmackDown that was fun that saw him get pinned, I think, by Samoa Joe. Yeah. Um, they were constantly teasing a feud with The Miz, which we got a little well. bit of, but not. I don't think we got the full story playing out quite yet. They're still kind of working on that. Um, and then, yeah, just a few weeks ago, claimed the WWE title for himself, mm -hmm. um, kicking AJ Styles square in the front area, yeah. hitting a knee plus for the win. He had a great match with Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. Oh, man, that was a killer um, match. We're doing this before TLC. I'm really excited about his match against AJ Styles. We're here recording this today. Just found out tonight, Daniel Bryan versus Mustafa Ali on SmackDown Live. I'm going to be amazed. Ooh. Two of my favorite wrestlers in the whole world. They're going to tear the house down. It's going to be great. Didn't think it could happen. It could happen. Do you think this is a call-up for Mustafa Ali? Who also had a really good year. Oh, he had a killer year. One of my uh, favorite wrestlers. No, I think I, I'm guessing this is a situation. First, I want to say to an extent, yes, hope so. I want him to get called. Hope so. Because he is phenomenal. But I'm guessing it's a situation where 205 Live shoots before SmackDown. They want uh, an opponent for Daniel Bryan uh, so they can put on a good match with Daniel Bryan. Who's better than Mustafa Ali? Man, yeah, but think about it. But here's the thing. With if Mustafa, Daniel, Mustafa with, Ali goes out there and kills it, tears the house down. It's going to be like, who is this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Sign yeah. him to SmackDown. Here's the thing, you got to think also, Daniel Bryan just, and I know The Miz kind of like is a tweener these days, 
But Daniel Bryan just went from super face to super heel. Mm -hmm. They might want somebody to feel to fill kind of a heel role. There's a lot of heels on SmackDown. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, face role. Yeah, yeah. Somebody to fill a. No, face Mustafa role. Ali's fantastic. Oh, he's the best. But yeah, Daniel Bryan. Imagine that. Three years thinking that you were done. Done. And then counting down boom. the days to your contract is up so you can go somewhere else and wrestle. All elite wrestling. Yeah, it could have been. But he, now it's not. He was supposed to be at all in, man. Yeah. yeah. Number one. One. Becky Lynch, the, the man. man. That's right. Nobody, nobody, nobody had a better 2018 than Becky Lynch. Nope. Who uh, rode her uh, heel turn. It was supposed to be a heel turn, but really it just came off. It was, as, a, it was a stone cold turn. It was a stone cold turn. It was just pent up aggression. The fans were on board every second of the of the way. They said, we're tired of her getting the short shrift. She turned on Charlotte, beat the crap out of her. Fans went crazy. A heel turn turned into just a mega face push. She started running with it, called herself the man. All sorts of great fan art. Move that big head of yours right back there. Look at that. Right there, I got that for the big wall. Oh, man, she's she the took best. took Nia Jax's fist in the Raw Go Home Show for Survivor Series. The and iconic. And made it her iconic moment. Mm -hmm. She is great. Best Twitter follow in all of wrestling. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Um, every time she does an interview, she destroys it. She kills it. She is the man. She is the best thing probably going to wrestling right and now. She chances, chances are she will be headlining WrestleMania yep. 35 with Ronda Rousey and then maybe Charlotte. But, oh, my gosh, that is just spectacular. Um, we're still, as we're filming this, a couple days out from TLC. Mm -hmm. Don't know if she's a champion now. Doesn't seem to matter if she isn't because she's obviously headed on for bigger and better things. Yep. She might have the best 2019 oh, yeah. also. Given the current trajectory, entirely possible. Absolutely. She could top this list again next year. She is tops, tops, tops. So congratulations to Becky Lynch. Yes. You, you had the best 2018. Without a doubt. 